a heavenly choir. My favorite is keep a knocking. Put your hands together for another. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together. Just do it.
we thank God for, for allowing us to be here tonight. We want to thank God. We want to thank Jesus Christ, who is our covering. Dwight, uh, I, I'm just asking, do, do a favor for me. Don't let the music be louder than the mics. Okay, even God said, what they say to you. Hold up, sit down. Don't let the music be louder than the mics, okay? If you agree with me, clap your hands. Oh, you want to agree, put it back where it was. It's fine. <laughs> this week, we're going to sing another song. We're going to sing a lot of songs if y'all want to hear them. Yeah. There's a young gentleman who want to ask y'all to excuse us for being out of uniform. We're supposed to wear what he wore. <laughs> but I thought we'd be a little too sexy. Oh my. If we all wear that, come in. This is my guitar player and, and, my, and one of my lead singers. I think about him because he's only 20, what? 28 years old. And he's, it's, I, as a young man was talking to his father, he was getting ready to graduate. He told his father, he said, Daddy, I want, I want you to buy me a car for my graduation. His dad said, well, you got to do three things in order for me to buy you a car. He said, first of all, you got to clean your room up <laughs> every day. He said, then you got to read the Bible at least one time a day. Okay. And the third thing you got to do, you got to cut them dreadlocks out your head. Uh -oh. So he said, yes, sir. So he went about three months later. He went to his daddy. He said, daddy, I'm going to clean my room. I know you saw it. He said, I clean my room and I've been reading the Bible every day. He said, but the reason I ain't cut my hair because I read that Jesus didn't cut his hair. <laughs> he said, also Moses didn't cut his hair. Okay. And Samson didn't cut his hair. And his daddy said, and they walked everywhere they went. <laughs> I want to thank the, I want to thank the McDuffie. I want to thank the McDuffies for thanking enough of the Cat Spirituals. To bring us here again. I want to let you know, son, that. I mean, what's up, though? <laughs> we want to let you know, son, that. I think the monitor's too loud, boy. I want to let you know that we got sense enough to know that you don't have to bring us. You can bring a lot of groups. They called on you all year. Won't you bring them? I know that. So I just want to say thank you. We pray for your family. We love your family. Wait a minute, hold it. Hey, hey, Dwight, take some of the loads off, off of everything. Because I hear some say, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, check your mic. Check one, two. Hey, hey, yeah, put some highs on David. I'm oh, oh, David Ruffin. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. Mike, check one, two. Okay, give us a hand. Let's do this other song. Lord, you've been so 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 good to me. Lord, I Lord, I don't know. I just don't know what I what I would do. But if I had wings, can I get a witness? Hey. Just like a morning dove, I'll spread my wings like a I would have to worry what folks say about me. I get all by myself. Yeah, yes, I would, y'all. Sometimes I like to talk to y'all sometimes.
such a beautiful audience. Thank you. I saw you clapping and standing for all the groups. I want to let you know if you're tired, I understand. You're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I understand. Because I'm going to be honest with you. When when Mickey and them were saying, the, what Mickey and them, the travelers, when that cat was running around in that bay, when he got through, I was tired. <laughs> when they got through, I was tired. But I'm going to just let you know I thank you for loving us. Amen. Thank yes. you for loving on quartet singing we love for all of these years. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. You've been such a blessing to the cat spiritual. Yes, I'm talking to you. You that don't even like us. 
We love you. I'm talking to you that burn our CD. I want to thank you. Did you not know that it was a burnt CD that made Tyler Perry famous? Yes, it was. His first, his first CD was not professional. His play, Mara, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Mm -hmm. It was not a movie. It was a play. Yep. But he got. But now he's filthy rich. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, I'm not rich, but you can look at me and tell that I'm all right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thanks to everybody. Thank you for buying the records. When daddy passed away, you could have thrown us away. Daddy was the best singer that we had. Yeah. But you didn't throw us away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go sing a song. Go sing a song that, that daddy used to sing. And uh, I went to see mama the other day. My mom is 86 years old. Oh, God bless. And I went to see Mama, and uh, man, Mama got to talking, and Mama don't forget nothing. Even though she's 86, she's in her right mind. Those of you that's got a mama and a daddy, and sisters and aunties in their right mind, you ought to thank God right now. We stood there talking, and Mama just started staring at me, and she started talking. I said, Mama, I said, uh, why are you looking at me like that for? She said, I just want you to know that I'm tired. I said, okay. She said, I'm ready to go where your dad is. Oh. I said, Mama, I said, wait a minute now. I said, you mean to tell me he still got your nose open? Yeah. She said, she said, yeah, she said, I married him when I was 13. She said, he's been my daddy, he's been my friend, he's been my baby, he's been my brother. She said, he's been everything to me. I said, okay. And when I left, I got to thinking about daddy. I went to drive in my car, and before I knew it, before I knew it, I had drove 15 miles, and I was standing before Daddy's grave. Wow. And I just started talking to him, and I thought about all the things that he told me. He said, Harvey, I want you to take care of your mama. And I did that. She's 86 years old, Amen. and she's still here. Amen. He said, I want you to keep the group together. He said, I want you to keep the group together. Don't never let the group break up. I've done the best I could. A lot of them walked off and left me, but I'm, I'm still here. Amen. I want to let you know that God has been good to me. Yes. And I told Dad I've done the best I could. Those of you that's here. Those of you that's here. Before we go any further, turn the music on. Before we go any further, those of you here can really be a witness before we sing the next three songs. If you know without any music, without any music at all, if you know, oh, if you know without a doubt that you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jesus, just start praising him out of your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to clap. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Remember that time when you felt like throwing in the towel. You thought you weren't gonna make it. If you know it was He that bought you, open your mouth and praise Him. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. 
Hallelujah. If you really thank it. If you really thank it. Thank you, Jesus. If you remember the time when you was in that place and you thought you would never get out of it. Yeah. Mm. How many how many of y'all ever been down? Lift your hands. And they, it seemed like seemed like that that, that everything you try, it just seemed like it wouldn't yes, work. Yes, yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, I gave it up to Jesus. I gave it up to I Jesus. I stopped fussing and fighting. I stopped because I figured out that the out. best was not mine. It was the wrong. Listen, let's take a song. Come on. Why? Why? I don't know y'all never pop saying it like this. 